when, friends, I have said to the nation during the course of this election campaign that I have a positive plan for building the nation for the future, the economy of the future, the industries of the future, the jobs of the future, the schools of the future, the hospitals of the future, the clean energy of the future, let me tell you, there is substance to our proposition. These are not words, these are actions. Actions translated into real things on the ground which work. In 2007, there were 10.7 million Australians in a job. As of today, there are 11.65 million, just under 1 million more in work. Inflation has averaged 2.6 under our government, 2.6 under the previous government. Families who were paying interest rates at about 8.55% in 2007 are now paying interest rates on their home loan on about 5.95%, which means in a household on a mortgage of $300,000, they're paying $6,000 a year less than they were in 2007. Average weekly earnings have risen 4.8 per cent per annum under our government, compared with 4.2 per cent per annum under our predecessors. Over the last year, six years, the tax to GDP ratio has averaged 21.1 per cent under our government, compared with 23.4 per cent under our predecessors. And our predecessors still hold the record as the highest taxing government in Australia's history. And most critically, productivity has risen by 10 per cent since the government came to office. Labor productivity under the Fair Work Act at 1.9 per cent growth per annum is almost three times higher than that achieved under the work choices regime of 0.7 per cent per annum. And we have achieved all of the above with among the lowest debt and deficit ratios in the world and with a AAA credit rating from all three international credit rating agencies. Our predecessors, by the way, only managed two such ratings. We secured the third.